The Women's Institute is facing a mutiny from members over its admissions policy for transgender women. Now, the organisation's trustees have been blasted for forcing equality rules upon local branches, meaning that anyone who says they are living as a woman can join, and WI members who refuse them on the grounds of gender identity are transphobic. Well, the national body has been warned it risks failing to fulfil its purpose as a charity to, quote, advance the education of women and girls, unquote, if it can't properly define what a woman is. Disgruntled members are demanding the leadership pauses the policy until it's properly debated and voted on. And meanwhile, hundreds of people have signed a petition calling for the Institute to return to being a single sex space. Now, the WI made history in 2021 by featuring transgender woman Petra Wenham on the cover of its members magazine, six years after it had declared that trans women were welcome. The chief executive of the WI says they are proud of their transgender policy and how supportive members are and have been. I think this is so sad. I, I read that article, the, the interview, you know, the, the cover story that the WI magazine uh, did with Petra Wenham. And this was obviously formerly a man, a man who deeply, deeply unhappy in his gender transitioned in his late 60s and you can see him there uh, her there Petra there after transitioning happily married to Lorraine bitterly unhappy all his life very happily married still happily married to Lorraine transitioned and trans women like her want to wear twin sets and be a part of the WI and be the woman that they've always wanted to be and they were welcomed with open arms and now the debate has become so toxic mm. you know, I do not believe that a few years ago the WA was trying to be infiltrated mm. by yeah. you know sort of uh, crazy mm. trans women who who are a threat I, I believe there probably is a risk now because the debate has become so toxic but there was a lovely stage where trans women like that could be Petra, embraced and, and Petra, by the WI. It, well, yeah, because this is actually all the evidence you need, really, for the craziness of this debate. I'm also thinking of uh, the girl that won Big Brother as well. Nadia. Uh, Nadia, who won Big Brother. Various other trans people that have been on our screens and, you know, in various ways. And it wasn't controversial in that mm. respect. It mm. just wasn't even talked about. Right. Mike and I have done phone-in radio for years. This never came up as a subject. Right. The only reason it has now is there is a suspicion that some people who are saying, I'm a trans woman, aren't really into the whole journey that Petra has taken. You've got blokes with beards and penises mooching around the place going, I'm a woman. And you know they're not exactly. really. And they're, people are frightened They're stirring it, it up. They're causing a problem. Mm. It's political. You've got kids at school calling themselves this invented term non-binary, which no clinician on the planet has ever really heard of you've got all of this stuff going on and that has caused the problem and I think that's why the WI now are saying you know maybe we put a hold on this because you know, six years ago nobody talked to her Petra was there on the cover of the magazine everybody was happy and now and nobody, all hell is broken. it was 2015 wasn't it? it was 2015 when mm. they said that you know they would welcome trans women into correct the eight years ago mm. uh, eight so years who, you know that's the thing. Who, who cares and that that's the thing actually is that the reason I feel that it's a real shame the reason that this has come up is because of such a small percentage and it's a tiny percentage of people that um, other people perceive as a threat quote unquote people that you've spoken about that are not um, properly into transitioning um, and are using it to take advantage it's such a tiny tiny minority of people that has made the whole debate so toxic mm. and it means that um, organisations like the WI are going back and looking at their policy, a policy which has worked very yeah. well for years. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, Daisy, there is women, uh, trans women, who have all they've, all they've wanted is to be part of the WI. To make not, jam. Not yeah. all wear a twin set. But, but maybe them, that's what they have done. And, and so, you know, you're right to say that it's suddenly it's changed. But the reason it's changed is because of the craziness of the trans woman movement as well. Because they've, instead of doing what they used to do when nobody minded what happened, um, they've become very sort of extreme about having to have particular rights and having to have access to things that, that previously they probably could have had access to without demanding it. But, but isn't think... that what's happened with so many discussions now? Is that mm. I mean, the fact that you're actually called transphobic, if you just say, hold on a second, mm. that means you're transphobic. Right. If you do anything yeah. at all that involves, mm, mm. is this a good idea? Transphobic. Yeah. And, and, and I think that, that this is not the only topic that has become yeah. toxic. There are so many of them. And it's that, it's that drawing lines in the sands and, uh, sand and everything else. And the trouble is that life is not 
this, that, mm. and those are the only options. And I think they the thing are about the Women's grey. Institute yeah. as well is that it is a members' organisation, isn't it? I mean, I'm not in it. Uh, I suspect they wouldn't let me in it. I don't know if I. Are apply. you good on jam? Uh, yeah, good on Jam, yeah. Good at singing oh. Jerusalem? Yeah, not bad. OK. Um, well, of course, a lot of, a, a lot of gender critical <laughs> people would say they would let you in if you put a skirt or a dress on. Okay. And that's, and that's right. the problem with this, with, with this debate. <laughs> because, you know, people saying, of course, we all understand that that there are spaces that must be safe and there are spaces that mustn't have anybody who could be a threat you know, to, particularly whether it's teenage girls, mm. whatever, whatever it might be, you know, in prisons. So are we all saying that we disapprove of the WI changing their policy or do we have sympathy? I, I have sympathy with people saying, Single sex should be all female, but the, but, but no, the, no trans. But the assumption here is that someone who is a trans woman is automatically going to be a threat. And that's no, just I not no, it I don't as think well. That's the case. No, and, and also there might be women who were born women and are women in the WI who could be a threat as well. But, Why yeah, do we assume that, no, that, that it's, not, it's trans not about a threat? I don't I, I think that clearly there would there might be some people who've got some kind of nefarious intent wanting to try to get mm. into girls' changing rooms and all the rest of it. But actually I don't think that's what's going on here. I think what is going mm. on here is a politicized thing. I think mm. there are people. This is an ultra kind of left wing, you know, sort of anti tradition anti-tradition, anti-convention, people like to mix it up, stir it up, call yourself a woman, mess up the system, play with the system, do whatever you... You can be whoever you want. Mm. It's that. It's not about perverts the, lurking around the changing petition, Although there might be some of that. But, but the but petition really. that, that, uh, that you know, members of the WI have been signing is saying that they want the policy changed and they want to... You know, exclude well, they want a vote on it, trans, they? They trans want debate. Well, they want, yeah. I think they they want, want a debate. They can all agree that they should have a vote on it, which I think is what well, they should do. Probably because of the mess it's, that it's yeah, currently but it's an internal... Because it's yeah. no it's longer about people round like the Petra. Yeah. It's become... A, a whole different ball game, yeah. where the aforementioned, you know, a bloke with the the beard and the, the <clears throat> penis and all the rest of it just simply says, "I'm a woman," because politically he he fancies doing. Well, as we've all said, we don't think that those people would want to join the WI. Exactly. <laughs> no, one imagine. of them would. One of them would go. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to join the WI. You just can just, see somebody just to prove doing a point. that to prove yeah. it. It's right on the yeah. front line of it all, isn't it? The Women's Institute. I mean, but it is now. I think I do want to join. Don't it. mess with it the WI. Sounds quite exciting.